Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of the Drive-In Midnight Special. So, one thing that I always say, or probably don't always say, um, is that my favorite independent company, well, is Troma Studios. Well, in a way, well, I kind of feel like they say, like, they kind of were, in a way, the pioneers for the stop, like, you know, it, not really totally, but I just think they were influential in their effects and what they could do on a restrained budget. <laughs> I mean, not all of their films are great, but the one film that was always influential was The Toxic Avenger. And today's film, in a way, parodies it. Well, you know, with the makeup and the gore effects. And, all, and also parodies Power Rangers. And that, to, that's right, today we're going to be discussing, well, a relatively new film that just coincidentally came out last year. Psycho Gore Man. Wait, no, actually, no, it came out, yeah, it came out in, no, it came out in 2020. But, yes, yeah, Kelly on demand, all that stuff, last year. Uh, Psycho Gorman, or also known as PG. So let's get right in and discuss the film. So the film was directed by and also written by Stephen Kostansky. So the and film, I mean, well, the cast includes Nitsa, Josie, Hana, and Mimi. Owen Murray Murr as Luke, Matthew, Nunavar as Psycho Gorman or PG, Stephen Velos as the voice of Psycho Gorman, Adam Brooks as Greg, Alexis Hansi as Susan, Kristen McCollish as Pandora, Reese Presley as Chad, as the thug one, and Rich Evans as Death Trapper. Um, so the whole plot of Second Gore Man is a group of siblings, Mimi and Luke, find like a gem or maybe that in a way controls a alien overlord that has been discovered on Earth and Basically, they become friends with it, or kind of way force them to come. Is this yours? <laughs> Be? Picture, picture a Billy and Mandy if if it if it wasn't live action, but extremely hardcore, and sometimes had a bit of goofy effects, some like say Power Rangers, and also Toxic Avenger. And yeah, the Toxic Avenger, um, similar to the fact that the film is just absolutely, my goodness, this film is just so over the top silly. But, fun, but, and honestly, it's kind of fun. Um, what did I feel of the characters? Well, I thought, uh, the character of, uh, I thought all the characters did a pretty good job. Um, I thought Mimi was a bit of... And honestly, she was a bit of a brat. The character of Mimi. And that she, things always have to go away. She's always just... She's the younger sister, but she's always beating up on her brother. Um, basically, the parents are not able to control this child. Um, the dad basically is... He's kind, he's kind, he's kind of just uh, aloof. Well, I have a BA in English. What have you done with your life? Huh? What have you done with your life? I ask you. Uh, it is not really doing anything to help the family in a way. Um, the I have I have a feeling that one day this film is going to get a humongous cult following. But I also feel like the film, even though it's only been out for 
of a like less than two years now. The that this film is already probably beloved by now. I mean, the action the action is just really a lot of fun. The gore is ugh. the adversaries, but not today. In all, in all honesty, I was a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous about using a ton of clips for this one because relatively a newer film and I'm not so sure about how, I don't want to, you know, upset the filmmakers and all that. However, however um, I will really say that I love the makeup. I love the you know the prosthetics all that stuff it was just a lot this is feels just like such a you know uh love tribute to uh the 80s and all the 90s in a way uh especially love at times like the way they use certain effects um you know you just like say certain puppets and all that Heck, there was like a uh, second gold man, like he ends up uh, killing a cop and then turning him into his, like a slave almost, like a ghoul kind of slave. <laughs> slave. And I have a feeling that that, a that actor, I feel like he was just, he couldn't really see what he was doing. So he probably had like a little microphone in his ear to say, Okay, now Bo Bob, wave around back and forth, like, hold your gun in the air and wait, walk around like a goofball. And he probably thought, We're okay. Um, but yeah, and, uh, I will say that, uh, I mean, although I enjoy the, uh, Makeup and all that, and all the the uh, the practical gore effects. I kind of feel like that. Um, I kind of wish that it's, even though the film has a lot of practical effects, and also um, a lot of pretty, you know, actually some pretty good, decent special effects. Still, kind of would like if they actually had a bit more. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I have not seen a film, and that's as violent of this probably since. Um, with you know th this much um, practical effects and all that stuff, that it makes me think. I miss this thing. I miss kind of films that have this much, uh, gore and the practical effects. Um, but, but I mean, overall, this film is just a freaking silly movie. I mean, it's you, you're not supposed to take it seriously, in all honesty. Um, yeah, in all honesty, this was actually pretty good. But cat's being a goofball in the background, sorry. Um, now, Gagos, hey, down. Hey, down, get out of here. Um, yeah. Um, I also gotta say that, uh, there is, like, they create a, yeah, like, a game that the, the kids play. It's, I don't know, I was confused about, the, about what kind of game it was, but, uh, about it, and it made me think, is it basically, it's trying to be, like, dodgeball or something? Yeah, it was weird, but it was kind of funny. Um, one one of the characters, um, uh, Alistair, basically Mimi says like, "I wish." Uh, basically, she does a wish on Alistair, and then it gets turned into a like giant little giant brain, and then like he never gets turned back into a kid, 
and it makes me think like when the parents finally see when the parents and he's having dinner with his parents it makes me think you're not gonna make no take a notice or like oh we're just used to it now we're just used to this crazy nonsense in this town um yeah i mean overall i'm gonna say psycho gorman or pg and honestly really fucking freaking fun or should I say freak? Freaking fun. Yeah, that was that was how uh It is crazy how they were able to make a say have a line like Brig and make it sound badass, I guess. But for those of you of you have seen Second Go Man or are checking out, what are your thoughts? Put your thoughts and those comments down below and let us know and as always thank you for watching and i guess we'll see you next time